Planeswalkers, Andrew here. Um, I just recorded this video, and uh, I didn't realize until 27 minutes in that I hit start streaming and not record. So here we are with most of the deck complete. Um, let me let me run you through real quick. So we're looking at Nephilim Tribal, helmed by Morophon the Boundless. So this is going to be a deck with all four Nephilim as well as some changelings that also count as Nephilim. Uh, I'll run through the cards that I've chosen in just a moment. I need to find out how fear works. Can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or black creatures, so that is actually perfect. Right now I'm looking at um, spells, single target instants and sorceries that can target um, Ink Treader Nephilim because Ink Treader reads uh, whenever a player plays an instant or sorcery that only targets Ink Treader, copy that spell for each other creature that spell could target, each copy targets a different one of those creatures. So I'm basically going to use Ink Treader as a way to get all my other Nephilim through, because all the other Nephilim care about either um, connect or either attacking um, or... Where are they? Or um, connecting with an opponent. So we want to get them through. So let's see. Dark creature is unblockable this turn. Yes. Artful dodge. Um, I think I'm going to go for 34 lands, honestly. So that's another 23. Which means we can do another three more cards. Destroy target creature, put a menace counter on a creature you control. No, that would be terrible for this. Um, target creature. A creature cannot be blocked except by artifact creatures and black creatures this turn. Um, what is this? X target attacking creatures are considered blocked. I don't. I don't think that would work. Think Treader. Target attacking unblocked creature becomes blocked. What? No. Play only when defense is chosen. No. Um, sure. Distortion strike. Yes. Probably just one more. Dark creature can be blocked this turn. No. It gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Okay. Feet of resistance. Yeah, we'll do that. Put a, a counter on a creature you control, which would be Ink Treader, and then copy it for every other creature you control. That sounds pretty fun. So yeah, um, let's let me fill in the basics and then we'll we'll run through the deck. So I, I'm so bad. I just looked over and saw like the blue Wi-Fi bars next to the live, the word live on a uh, OBS, and it, mm, it it makes me a bit mad, but it's fine. Um, so overview details there we go it's pretty well rounded so we want forests forest probably a quarter of of our forest or of our land base as forest so 24 that'd be six sure and then uh planes i'm thinking five um Islands. So that leaves us with 13. Probably four islands, or five islands rather. Um, swamp. Four swamps, and then four mountains. Fantastic. So let's run through the deck here. Let me full screen this. Make this bigger okay so let's run through artifacts we have arcane signet um classic um belby's portal 
Uh, choose a creature type when it enters. Put a creature. You can tap it for three to put a card of the chosen type onto the battlefield from your hand. Birthing Bows makes shapeshifter tokens with changeling. So this is basically creating two two Nephilim. Chromatic Lantern, Chromatic Orrery, those are for mana fixing. We have Cloud Key. Um, as it comes into play, choose Artifact, Creature, Enchantment, Instant, or Sorcery. Spells you play of the chosen type cost one less to cast. This just makes my creatures one cheaper. Commander Sphere, Fist of Suns, and we'll get to them later, but uh, Joda, they both make, uh, make it so that you can alternatively pay... Um, the full Wooberg for any spell. And Morophon says that uh, when creature spells that you cast of the chosen type, we'll go down to Morophon, uh, are a Wooberg cheaper. So it, it is every type. You When it enters, you choose a creature type. It makes creatures of that type a Wooberg cheaper and gives them plus one, plus one. So normally this just makes the classic Nephilim completely free because they only have one of each color of their mana cost with fist of suns you can choose to alternatively pay a wooberg for any spell and for all of your changelings that are also nephilim you can make that a wooberg cheaper and play those for free as well so a fist of suns and uh, morophon you can play all of your changelings for free Icon of Ancestry, I'm going to take a drink of water. <sighs> Stay hydrated. Um, when it enters, choose a creature type and makes them bigger. You can reveal a creature from the top three cards if you tap it and put one of them into your hand. Soaring, Swiftfoot Boots, Fankersher's Banner, chooses a creature type, makes them bigger, and lets you draw a card whenever you cast a creature spell of that type. Adaptive Automaton is just a lord of any type, whatever you want. Amoeboid has a meme face. Um, it can give a creature that you control all creature types, or make the lose all creature types for the turn. Avian Changeling, which I hate. Oh god, do I hate it. Um, it's just a changeling with flying. Brass Herald. Choose a creature type when it enters. Um, reveal the top four cards. Put all creature cards of the chosen type. Uh, reveal this way into your hand. And then it can and then it acts as a lord for all of those. For all of your uh, Nephilim. Chameleon Colossus. Uh, I also hate this uh, art. Um, that's not an insult to Daryl Ritchie. But uh, it's, it's not pleasant art to look at. Um, protection from black. And you can make it bigger. Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Uh, makes all of your lands, all, all land types. Dune Brood. This is one of our five Nephilim. Um, named Nephilim. Um, when it deals combat damage to a player, you make a 1-1 one -one sand creature token for each land you control. Glint Eye, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw that many cards. You can discard a card to give it plus one, plus one. Grave Shifter, um, when it enters the battlefield, you can return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Ink Treader, if it's the only target of an instant or sorcery, you copy that spell for each other creature that spell could target, and then each of those copies targets those creatures. Irregular Cohort, it comes with a 2-2 friend. Joda is just Fist of Suns on a body. Mirror Entity can make creatures you control XX base power and toughness and gain all creature types. Nylia Keen-Eyed um, makes creature spells one less to cast and you can reveal cards from your library um, and put them into your hand. Shape, shif shape Sharer. Oh god. Oh, the net is coming out of his thumb. Oh my god. <laughs> this design for the shapeshifters, the changelings, is just disturbing. Um, you can make it a copy of a target creature um, until your next turn. Spark Double copies a creature spell, and it is not legendary if the original was. Marian. Ma I was about to say Marian Taller. 
Victorian Mauler. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, you can put a counter on it. Unsettled Mariner. He looks like he hasn't settled into his shape yet. Look at all the goop. Um, whenever you are a permanent in control becomes the target of a spell, you counter it unless the controller pays one. Valiant Changeling costs one, costs one less to cast for each creature type among creatures you control, and it has double strike. So at best, it's a um, two mana, three, three double strike. Changeling, Death Touch, pretty simple. Witchmaw Nephilim, whenever you play a spell, you can put two counters on it. Uh, whenever Witchmaw Nephilim attacks, it gains trample um, until end of turn if its power is 10 or greater. Uh, so, uh, I'd say this is probably the second best Nephilim next to Ink Treader. Ink Treader just has a lot of utility that you can pull out with it. Your Tiller, uh, whenever it attacks, return a dark creature card from your grave to your to play tapped and attacking. So it does not let creatures rest in the grave. It will bring them back. Okay, um, I'm also, let me just scroll this down. I am also going to run the two cards that have Nephilim in their names. Blessing of the Nephilim gets plus one, plus one for each of its colors. Cartouche of Strength gives trample and some other stuff garrick's uprising gives creatures to control trample um enters the battlefield it lets you draw cards for playing creatures with power four or greater rhythm of the wild it's one of my favorite enchantments the entire game gives your creatures riot non-token creatures to be specific teamer ascendancy gives haste and lets you draw cards Aphotic Wisps, um, target creature become, becomes black and gains fear, and it also draws you a card. We want to, This is one of the cards that we want to target Ink Treader with, because then it lets us give all the creatures on the board fear and draw a card for each creature on the board. And it doesn't matter if your opponent's creatures gain fear, because you're still drawing the cards, and you, they, your creatures still cannot be blocked by creatures with fear. It's only artifact and black creatures. So if your opponents have black creatures, then they can still block. Beast within, destroy target permanent. This can, with Ink Treader, this can also be a board wipe, um, where everything gets replaced with three threes. That would, I, I don't know in what situation that would be good, but there must be a situation where it's, uh, it's helpful to destroy everyone's creatures and give everyone a three three for each creature. Cerulean Wisps. Oh, this is... Oh. It's a cycle. Uh, target creature becomes blue. Untap that creature. Draw a card. Crib Swap. Uh, exile a creature. And it, they get a 1-1 one, one Changeling. Eladomery's Call. Uh, you can search for... It's a creature tutor. Target creature gains haste until end of turn. Draw a card. Also for Ink Treader. Feet of Resistance. This is also for Ink Treader. Put a plus one plus one counter on it. On target creature you control. Gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. What's cool about this card is uh, it can only target your creatures, which means that you're not giving your opponent's creatures counters when you target Ink Treader with this. And you can choose which creatures get what protections. So if you really want to swing in, you can say, oh, this opponent only has black creatures, so I'm going to make these creatures get protection from black, and then they can swing in freely. Generous Gift, destroy target permanent. They get, they get a 3-3. Three, three. Cross and Grip, split second, destroy an artifact or enchantment. Might of the Nephilim, target creature gets plus 2, plus 2 for each of its colors. That's really good with Witch Maw, because that just immediately puts it, it, puts it at 9-9. Nine, nine. And if it has counters on it, it's going to be over 10, and then it's going to get trample. Swords, swords to golf clubs, exile a creature. Um, don't think we have any, oh, Rogue's Passage makes your creature, makes target creature unblockable for the turn. The Thriving Lands, Unclaimed Territory. Artful Dodge is also for Ink Treader. Um, target creature is unblockable. 
and it has flashback. Conflux lets you grab five cards, one of each color. They can share colors, they just need to be they just need to be one of the colors. So like you can get a white and blue card and a white and black card. As long as you choose one is blue, one is black. We have some ramp, diabolic tutor, one of my favorites, distortion strike, also for ink treader, eerie ultimatum, um, lets you return permanents from your grave to the battlefield, ramp, um, top five cards of your library, put any number of permanents up from among them onto the field. This is also for Ink Treader, gain control of target creature or vehicle. Untap it, it gains haste. You may cast, and it, the second part doesn't matter that, that really at all, because you just gain control of all creatures on the board, which for yours, it just gives them haste and untaps them because you already have control of your creatures. So you're, you're stealing everyone's creatures and then you can swing in with everyone's creatures. You can use this to just end one player, or to end the game in the right circumstance. Like with, with Kari Zev and Ink Shredder, you really can just win the game in the right board state with the right creatures. Choose a creature type, destroy all creatures that aren't the chosen type, so I choose Nephilim. Everything that's not a Nephilim dies. Dama's Reach, Rampant Growth, Return from Extinction, lets you grab up to two creatures from your grave to your hand if they share a creature type. Slip through space, target creature can't be blocked this turn, draw a card. And our commander. Okay. Um, this was going to be like a 40 or 45 minute video because that's how long I've been recording until I realized I didn't freaking hit record. Okay. We're here though. We are recording now. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give me any feedback you have. This is just my attempt at building a um, five-color Nephilim tribal deck. So we'll, we'll see how this performs once I build it. Yeah. In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and distanced and financially stable. I, I wish all of you the best. In these hard times, the vaccine is on the way. Um, they they better be distributing it to everyone as fast as physically possible. And uh, yeah, hopefully within the next six months, things will start to return to, nor to normal. It's actually insane how quickly this vaccine has been developed compared to pretty much any other vaccine ever. It as far as i under my understanding is that a vaccine should take like four or five years to develop maybe two i mean i'm not a doctor <laughs> i'm just trying to draw from um information i've heard i might be two either way uh 10 months for a vaccine is unprecedented um doctors have been on top of this thing since it started and I'm very happy that we've come, they've come this far in uh, curing this disease. So I, hopefully we'll all get to visit our friends and family safely sooner than later. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Um, leave a like, maybe subscribe if you want to see more. It really helps us out a lot. And I wish you all a good day. Bye.